We've secured our dependency chain. We've made sure our code is secure. Add a cat to that must be secure at this point, right? Wrong. It's time to look at protecting our developers from devious phishing attacks. No matter how secure your code base is from the outside, if someone manages to get into one of your devs' account with a good phishing attack, then all of those previous protections, useless. A typical login flow looks something like this. You present your login to the server, then you're in. But, oh no, someone was actually giving you a very clever phishing page and you've given them your credentials. Now they can do anything you could have done like modify source code, install malware, or even send emails with too many emojis to your whole team. What about a one-time password generated by your phone? Unfortunately, that doesn't always prevent phishing because a phisher can just take that, pass it forward with your credentials, and now they're logging in as you just as successfully. There's got to be a better way to secure the people who access your system. And that, that's where security keys come in. They can be USB keys or Bluetooth, or you can even use your Android phone as one. And these serve as a much stronger second factor to make your login secure. So. Let's see how security keys would have stopped that previous phishing attempt in its tracks. Instead of being complete after you've given a login name and a password, the server replies with a challenge because it knows that you registered a security key onto your account already. Your security key accepts that challenge, verifies that it does recognize the domain name, and uses its hidden private key to sign it. This means a phishing domain, even a very cleverly disguised one with a URL that looks almost exactly the same except for that weird ASCII character it's using that's not really an O but it looks like an O, yeah, that won't work. The key won't sign the challenge and return it to the domain if it isn't exactly what it was set up with. If everything does check out, your security key accepts the challenge, verifies that it recognizes the domain name, and uses its hidden private key to sign it. Finally, the server uses the public key to verify the signature and it knows you have the same physical key that you had before. Now this is strong authentication that's very resistant to phishing. Preventing phishing is just as easy as that. Once you set these keys up and change the two-step authentication to only use security keys in the Google Admin UI, then the next time a developer logs on, after they enter their password, they'll be asked to touch their security key. Plug that in, give it a tap, now you're in. That's the end of this little security journey. Thank you for going along this ride with me. I'm Carter Morgan and you, you are now a certified expert in all things app security. Or maybe not, what do you think? Leave your responses in the comments below and don't forget, if you wanna see more great Google Cloud content like this, please like and subscribe to the page. 